I'm so happy to come your way again and I'm so excited to come your way tonight and I believe that tonight program after watching this video your life and your situation is going to turn around when it comes to money okay now sometimes you hear people saying that they cannot save they cannot invest money they cannot save and they cannot invest money because of bills bills and 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 expenses bills and expenses sometimes you have not been able to save you have not been able to uh, invest money because you are always using money to pay bills you are always using money to pay expenses your expenses that you are making is too much the bills that you are paying is too much so it is difficult for you to save it is difficult for you to to save money but i i believe that after tonight after this particular video watching this video your mindset is going to turn around and you are going to be able to save and you are going to be able to invest money now what i want you to understand is that number one this world has a lot of money that humanity needs this world it has a lot of money there are more money on this earth there are a lot of money on this earth okay and if you are going to live for the next 200 300 years on this earth the world will not lack any resources the world will not lack any money but the challenge is that how to to to, to get the money or how to attract the money that is the most important thing the, the knowledge to be able the skill to be able to 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 have money the skill to be able to to get money that is what most of the people are lacking so knowledge is a great source of power knowledge is a great source of power for you to be able to save and invest money you need knowledge mm -hmm. without knowledge you cannot save and you cannot invest money so when you read the bible Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 the bible says that my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge my people are destroyed from lack of knowledge my people are destroyed because they lack what they lack knowledge that is why they have been destroyed they lack knowledge it is not because the devil is after their life or the devil is so powerful my people are destroyed from lack of what of knowledge and if you are going to have knowledge if you are going to have knowledge about finances about finance about money you are going to increase and we are going to have a lot of money so we need knowledge we need knowledge to be able to attract wealth we need knowledge to be able to attract money so in this life we have consumers and investors we have consumers and we have investors there are people that they consume and there are people that they invest okay so we are going to take a look about this consumers and these investors yeah good evening and a good evening god bless you god bless everyone for joining us tonight and i believe tonight broadcast you, 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 as we watch this program your situation and your life is going to turn around when it comes to money so we have consumers and we have investors okay now there are people who consume and there are people who invest a lot of people consume whatever they will get they, whatever whatever money that they will get they, will, they consume it they use it to pay bills, expenses, their children's school fees, rent. And at the end of the day, they cannot have enough to save. They cannot have enough money to save. Okay. Now, for you to save, you need that kind of skill to be able to save and to be able to invest money. Some of some of some of the people, eh, before any time they will they, any time they, they receive money, by the time that they even receive money, they have even spend the money they spent the money in their mind before they even receive the money by the time you receive the money you just be, you have to give money to your auntie your sister your your brother so you have already distributed the money you have not received the money but you have already distributed the money in your mind you have distributed the money in your mind so before you receive money you have already given the money out before you even receive money so there are two as i said there are 
consumers and their investors, okay, what you need to understand is that, number one, we should not spend money before we multiply it. You, should, you, don't, have to, you don't have to spend money, okay? You don't have to be giving money out, giving money to your auntie, your sister, your mother, your brother, paying bills, pay before you can save. What you need to understand is that you have to control your thinking. You have to control your mind because everything is here. Everything is here. It's within your mindset. So in life, it is either you are multiplying liabilities or you are multiplying assets. It is either you are multiplying liabilities or you are multiplying assets. Let me explain it. When, I, when, when we come to your room, you have one television in your at your living room. You have one television in your bedroom. Okay, you have... Uh, two air condition one at your bedroom one at your living room okay and you have fridge you have like two uh two uh fridge in your in your in your house okay now it is not wrong but bef before you can be able to have this kind of expenses you have to weigh your income you have to weigh the source of your income if your income if you have enough money to be able to do some of these things okay but if you don't have enough money then you have to Stay within your means. You have to stay within your level. You have to be able to decrease your expenses. Anytime you buy something, make sure that thing that you are buying, it, it is worth it. Do you, do you, you need it before you, you buy it. You don't have to buy something because uh, 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 somebody said it is nice. Nice because your child or your children, they said they want it. Now, you have to always be able to, to, to see that this one that I'm, 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 I'm taking out, I'm not going to receive that money back. So, why should I have to buy liability? Today, when you are going to wedding, you have to show new dress. Outdoor, you show new dress. When you are going to funeral, you show new dress. Every month, or every month, you go to church, every month, you've, you've said to yourself that every month, you try and, and show new dress. So, today, you go to church, your, your shoe is different your, with, your, with, with your dress, okay? Even the ladies, you have different kind of hair, hairstyle, okay? So, you are always uh, looking good. You always you want to make the people around you to know that oh you you, you 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 have a lot of money. So you have been changing your dress. It is not wrong. So today you go to church with this dress, with this shoe, the same bag, the same uh, handbag. They say everything the same, same. Okay. Now all these things are liabilities. You have you have different types of perfume different types all these things are liabilities okay now when, when you talk about multiplying assets you have one plot of land somewhere around let's say dodua you have one plot of land at ablekuma so you you have that kind of investment mentality that you need to invest in lands so or plot of land so when you have money you, you, you can that money can even afford a quarter plot or let's say half plot of land. Okay, now let's take this, let's do this analysis. Now, let's say if you were able to buy a land in Accra that was last year, two years ago, and today you look at two years ago and today, automatically the, the price of the of the plot will increase. Okay, so you you have to always think about how you can multiply asset than multiplying liabilities don't think about how you have a new television or how you get especially when you are suffering when you are suffering when you don't have money don't think about how you buy a new fridge how you buy a new mobile phone how you buy a new laptop or whatever you have to always think about how you can increase or how you can multiply your asset okay so what I want you to understand is that the rich people that we always admire, we admire them and we, we always want to be like them. But what you need to know is that some of the rich people, they started having assets. Some of them were, were, were very young and they started investing in, let's say, a plot of land. And sometimes you see these guys and they are driving a nice car and you want to drive a nice car but you see all these people the kind of investment that they have they have been able to buy that kind of cars that kind of mansion because they are always receiving what money from their investment 
they are receiving money from their investment. So they are using, let's say, 1%, 1 percent, 1 percent of of their investment, 1 percent of their investment to buy that kind of luxury, uh, to live that kind of luxurious life. But you, uh, you don't have any investment. You don't have any plot of land. You don't have anything. But you are always living good, nice food, always nice food. Okay, you can even go to let's say Cantamanto and buy a, 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 a secondhand shoe. But you want to buy expensive shoes. You want to buy expensive perfume. So you are always multiplying. When, 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 when you come to your room, you have so many clothes. The woman, so many dresses. You cannot. You don't even have a place to pack it. But you are always complaining that you don't have money. One of the things that you need to understand is that you have only one life on this earth. Now, the one life that you have on this earth, you need to understand that you will leave this earth and you will not come back to this earth again. So, in as much as you live on this earth, you need to be able to live a good life. And if you are going to live a good life, you need to plan for your future that the next 20 years, so let's say today, if you are 40, 40 years, the next 20 years, you, 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 you will be 60 years. If you are 25 years, the next 20 years, you are going to be, you are going to be what? 50 years. So, you need to be able to plan. So many people, they plan their wedding. They plan their wedding, but they don't plan their life. They, they, we spend money on funeral. Okay? When, 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 when we are going to bury the dead, we spend a lot of money on, 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 on funeral, but we don't plan our lives. So, so, so the, question, the question is, you are always believing God that a time will come that God will bless you. Let me tell you something. God has already blessed you. God has already blessed you. Every blessing, blessings that you need is already in you. But you need to be able to know how you can manage the resources, how you can manage money. If, if you're not a good manager, if you're not somebody who can manage money, there is no way you can be able to have financial freedom. That is why you see a lot of old men that are poor. They are poor because when they were young, they were poor and they grew, they grew old. So we have a lot of young men who are poor. They are poor because they are not taking charge of their financial destiny. They are not taking charge of their financial life. You see, so for you to be able to have an investment mindset or, or you are saying that you cannot save because you are always paying bills. Let me show you a simple formula. One of the things that the poor always do in life is that they always pay bills before they pay themselves. How many market women, how many uh, masons or taxi drivers that you know that they have an investment account? Somebody is a tomato seller, a plantain seller, and someone is, let's say, a trained teacher, and he's on the field trained, uh, teaching. Somebody is a nurse. Okay, this person is your classmate. You need to understand that when the teacher or the government worker, when he or she go on retirement, the government, or because they were, he was able to pay or he was able to save for his or her pension, he is going to re receive something from the government. But let, the answer is that you are not a government worker. Okay, you, you, you have your own business. So the, the question is, when you are 60 or 65, which retirement money are you going to receive? You're not going to receive any retirement money. So once you, you work for yourself today, you have to be able to think about the next 20, 30 years. When you are old, how are you going to live? Now, when you are old, you need to understand that your expenses will also increase because you are home and you don't go anywhere. Expenses for, 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 for uh, food, expenses for medical bills. Because when you are old, your immune system is also becoming old. So you'll be doing, you'll be going to checkups and those kind of things. Now, today that you are young, this is the time that you have to be able to think about the future. So, the simple thing that I'm going to teach you is that you need to have an investment account. Or you call it financial freedom account. You go to any bank that you need an investment account. And make sure that you are going to pay yourself Every day, or let's say every month, if you are a salary worker, every month you are going to pay yourself. Now, if you are a Christian 
Anytime you receive money, what you have to do is very simple. What you have to do is that when you take your tithe, 10% to God, you have to pay yourself first before you pay your rent, before you pay your, your, your utility bill, before you pay any bills. But I know some of you will say that, Pastor, it is going to be, as, uh, it's going to be uh, serious because when I look at the income, the amount of money that I receive every month, Pastor, when I take all my bills, I don't have anything left. And I'm saying that when you take, your, your, you pay your tithe, make sure you are going to pay yourself first. Now, I know it's going to be hard, but in life, for you to succeed in life, you need to do the things that are difficult. For your future to be easy. If you do the things that are hard today, your future is going to be easy. But if you do the things that are easy today, your future is going to be hard. So it's going to be hard. At the beginning, it's going to be hard. But make sure that you pay yourself first. First. So, you are a salary worker. You are a government worker. Make sure you, you talk to the bank. So they will, the bank will deduct certain amount of money from your account every month. When you receive your salary, they will deduct certain amount of money from your account every month. And you are saving this money for your future. But because it is an investment account, you are not going to touch this money. So the, the question is, when am I going to use this money? You are not going to touch this money. Let's say, let's draw a 20-year plan that you are not going to touch this money for the next 20 years. Which is going to be it's going to be hard for some of you. You are not going to touch the money for the next twenty years. You are not going to touch this money to pay school fees. You're not going to touch this money to pay uh, to, to, to spend on Christmas. You are not going to touch this money for anything. You are saving and you are you want to invest for the next ten years or the next twenty years for your future. So let's take it for example that you decide to pay yourself five Ghana cedis every day. Five Ghana cedis every day. Don't put that money in a money box. Don't put it in the money box. Try and make sure that every day, if you are a taxi driver, you are working for yourself, every day you take five CDs from your money. And how are you going to do this? Go to the bank and open an investment account. And make sure that every day you will send five Ghana CDs Mumbo from your phone to, 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 the, to your bank. Every day, five CDs from your phone to the bank. Every day, five CDs from your phone to your bank. So let's say if this month... You were able to save uh, uh, five CDs every day. Try and double it. Double it next month. Next month, double it to, let's say, seven CDs. Double it to seven CDs. Please share this video for me. Share this video for me. Try and double it next month to seven CDs. Seven CDs. Then you try and you double it every month. You try and you double it every month. Now, once it, it, it becomes part of you, once it, become, it becomes part of you, it is going to be easy for you to do it. Now, think about where you'll be the next 20 years. Think about where you'll be the next... Where are you going to be in terms of your finance? Where are you going to be the next 20 years? So I'm saying that try and go and open this account and make sure that you are going to save money every day and make sure that any time you receive your salary and you take 10% of your time, pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. If you want financial freedom... If you want to invest money, so if you can save for the next 10 years, the next 10 years is just around the corner. If you can save for the next 10 years, the next 10 years, you have a lot of money. And let's say you have a certain business that you want to go into that business. Okay, you can use half of that money to, to start a business or to, 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 to start something for yourself. But now you don't have any money and you are working you are doing a small, small business. And I'm saying that apart from you spending money on food, spending money on clothes, spending money on your children, make sure you also invest money in your, on yourself by putting money down every day. Every day. Now, sometimes eh, when the government increase our, our utility bills, we always find time to pay our utility bills. We always pay our utility bills. Even we will complain and we will talk. But data, recently they increased data, the price of data. Ghanaians, Ghanian, we complain bitterly. But now, we have been able to afford it because it has become part of us. So, treat savings and investment as what? As paying of what? Utility bill. Treat save, savings and investment as what? 
pain of utility bill, make sure that number one, the last thing you will do, or the first thing you do anytime you receive money, is to put money down, is to is to invest money first before you spend money. So if you if you if you if you if you can pay yourself 10%. 10% of your salary. 10%. You take 10% to God. 10% for yourself. Every month. 10%. So this month, you, you are able to pay yourself 10%. The next month, you pay yourself 20%. Then you try to double it. You try to double it. And once it, it, be, it becomes part of you, you are able to do it every month. Now, the next 20 years, where are, where are you going to be? I have been, I have been doing it. My wife, we have, my wife and I, we have joint accounts that we have been saving money every day. We have been putting money into that account every day. Ask yourself that. What, when Corona, this uh, COVID-19 happened, within this lockdown, we were home. And let's, let's take it that COVID-19, you need to learn something from COVID-19 because when you are old, you will not be going anywhere. You will be home every day. And if that time you don't have enough money, enough money, you are always going to depend on your children. Maybe that time, that is when your children, that is, that is, that is time they have they've started life. But you are going to depend on them. Oh, send me money. I have to go to the hospital. Send him. I have to go. Because you didn't plan well. So I'm saying that plan your future. Planning is winning. If you can plan your future and begin to save money every day, you vote yourself out of poverty. I don't know your age. I don't know. you watching me. I don't know your age. But just look at your age. And add 20 years to your age. And ask yourself that. The next 20 years. Where are you going to be? Where are you going to be in your life? Where are you going to be financially? And do what I am telling you. If you can do this. Your, your life is going to be easy. Now another time. I will teach you the the place where you can invest your money place where you can invest your money so that it will attract a lot of interest now don't just save money don't don't just save money when you save money at the bank they will use the money to the bank will use the money to work but at the end of the day what, what kind of interest are you going to attract you're not going to attract any interest but when you put your money at investment account and you tell your bank that you're not going to withdraw this money till the next 20 years you have an agreement with them Discipline yourself and let the money be there and try and save money every day. Don't do susu. Don't do susu. Co connect your mobile wallet number to the bank. So every day you send money in that, that account. Every day. And begin to do this and, and see that the next 20 years, where are you going to be? My name is Pastor Ekwashen. I would like to thank you for watching me. I want you to follow my page on Power Unlimited TV. You go to Facebook. Power Unlimited TV. Just type Power Unlimited TV and you see me on Facebook. Power Unlimited TV. And YouTube, Power Unlimited TV. You subscribe to my page. And every 7 p.m., I'm live on Facebook sharing this kind of wisdom. And if you can join uh, our, our program too, it will really help you. You see, we lack knowledge. We lack knowledge. It is, it is knowledge that we lack. We, it is not the devil that is so strong, that is so powerful. We lack adequate knowledge. Don't pray about money. From today, begin to look for books. Books. That talks about money. Begin, begin to look, look for financial books. And make sure you try and learn about money. You try and learn about finance. Because you need money to survive on this earth. Without money, you cannot survive. Without money, you cannot survive on this earth. So you need a lot of money to survive on this earth. And it is good to have a lot of money on this earth. So I'm saying, begin to do all these things that I've told you. And you are going to have a wonderful life. I just want to thank Tell It All for giving me this opportunity to use this platform. And I believe that this, the, the followers or the people in this group are going to be the next billionaires and the next millionaires. If we can be able to adhere to some of these teachings, it is going to help us a lot. God bless you. My name is Pastor Eko Shen. Try and look for me on Power Unlimited TV on Facebook. God bless you. Bye-bye.